Hello, I'm Nathan Martin with the Divine Pollination Hive and the UnityProcess.com, also known on a different YouTube channel as the Gray Mystic. Gray Mystic meaning neutral, not light nor dark, but embracing the totality of what in Star Wars would be called the Force. So I'd like to actually talk about The Last Jedi and also The Force Awakens and the attack on the masculine that is occurring within these films. And it's not just attack on the masculine in general. It's it's also attack on the feminine. Uh, but it's an attack on culture, specifically. It's an attack by postmodernism on culture. It's attacking our traditions. It's attacking our the things that, that make us stable. So when you hear everybody talking about the evil patriarchy and they're attacking the patriarchy, what they're really doing is they're, they're attacking the family unit and what makes us strong. The, this family, centralized family unit, because patria does not mean uh, where we get patriarchy, actually means family. Uh, pater is Latin, not Greek, but pater is Latin for father. So patria is Greek, archi is Greek, it means ruler of the family. So they're attacking the family rulership, both men and women in the family. And they're doing this because it's about postmodernism. Postmodernism has a war against reason, has a war against the sciences, it has a war against culture. Because when they start breaking down the values of the family unit, they break down uh, and make people easier to control. So if you're already a postmodernist or you're a snowflake, seriously, you're not my concern. I don't really care about you. I don't care about saving your soul. I don't. You're not savable in my mind. I don't really give a. You're not my, my audience, so if you're going to leave a bad comment, fine, do it, whatever, but I'll, I'll delete it anyways, don't worry about it. But I am here for people who actually do desire a strong family unit, who do desire to uh, return to the family unit and to keep our, our cultural um, and our, our societal norms, not just the norms, but the things, the traditions, and Star Wars is one of those traditions, and so is Star Trek. And especially for men, now of course there are some women Trekkies and there are some women who love Star Wars as well, but overall it is a cultural icon. Star Wars is a cultural icon. Luke Skywalker is a cultural icon. That is why in The Last Jedi they had to attack the masculinity of Luke Skywalker. They had to make him a wimp. Mark Hamill even said that when he was preparing to do his, this character, he was shocked. It was totally against what he thought and what his vision was and who he identified with as Luke Skywalker. He had. He even said, I had to be like Jake Skywalker to get in part because I couldn't be Luke Skywalker because if I got in part of Luke Skywalker, I couldn't say my lines. He literally could not play the part of Luke Skywalker in this film without pretending to be Jake Skywalker. Now, he could have been saying that tongue-in-cheek, but it's true. There, there's a problem with how Luke Skywalker was portrayed in The Last Jedi because it was a postmodern attack. It is killing rationality. It is killing cultural icons. It is killing the mythology that George Lucas purposely tried to bring to the large screen. So this mythology, you say, well, what is with this mythology? Well, if you read anything about the hero's journey and Joseph Campbell, and if you go back and you look at the mythology of Carl Jung and the archetypes and those things, where Carl Jung uh, even came up with a, a mystic book called The Red Book, which was his own personal private book, of things that you know, the dreams and the visions that he had he was really looking at a lot of gnosticism and gnostic thought when he came up with a lot of his concepts such as shadow work and looking at your dark side and being able to make the unconscious conscious so you shine light on your darkness there's even even a uh, clone wars video episode where yoda confronts his shadow side this is very very much Jungian in nature Carl Jung inspired and was the inspiration for Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell was the inspiration for and the mentor of George Lucas. George Lucas gave us Star Wars, gave us Luke Skywalker, gave us light and the dark sides of the Force. But he didn't invent the Force, obviously, because that actually was a term coined. When you go back, it was a term coined by uh, Sir Isaac Newton when he was talking about this energy that binds all life together because Isaac Newton was a hermeticist. 
So again, you're, you're, these myths were very intentionally put into American society and into world society as something for, for people to, to hold on to and find inspiration from. It resonates on a certain very primordial archetypal level within the soul of each human being. And so why do they have to attack Luke Skywalker? Why do they have to attack Han Solo and make him a really bad father? Why do they have to, to make uh, Luke Skywalker, this, this big pansy and baby that, that's all crying and big failure who would go against his own nature to try to kill his, his nephew when he, when presented with Darth Vader, he was like, no, that's my father. I'm not going to do it. I will not kill my father. I will not strike him down. You've lost emperor. Well, what does Luke then go do? You know, in, in face of that, he stands strong, but now he has this crisis of faith and he almost kills Ben Skywalker. Are you kidding me? Really? No, that's not Luke Skywalker. And, and this is also what, what even Mark Hamill said in all the interviews. If you've looked at a lot of his interviews, he was not okay with how his, how his character was portrayed. But this is just a postmodernism. This is the same thing that was done to Star Trek. In Star Trek, they're like, sometimes up is down and there is no reason. There's no logic. Why? Because it's postmodernism. Gene Roddenberry had this vision where humans would not be arguing. Now, there might be problems in the in the world around them, in the universe around them, but when presented with those problems, the humans would uh, work together as a team and find a way and a solution and work through it. But in this new version of Star Trek, all they do is fight each other. It's like a, an episode of Riverdale or something you might see on the WB. It's, it's ridiculous. It's childhood drama. Everybody fighting everybody. The, the, the captain is tremendously manipulative. The first officer, the person, uh, Michael, the girl, Michael, is very, very, very rebellious, and she's a, a Mary Sue as well. She does everything right. Um, so in these Mary Sue characters that, that know everything and can do everything, I mean, what is this telling people? It's saying you don't have to work for anything. You don't have to uh, prepare. You don't have to um, work on your character. You don't have to have exercise, reason, judgment, and work on your moral values. You don't have to, there aren't, everything is just black and white. You don't have to really work through things. But Luke Skywalker, he had to actually work through a lot. He had several years between each episode where he had to actually work through and gain ability. It just didn't come to him on a silver platter like Ray. Ray's a Mary Sue. And this isn't sexist because if it was a guy, it would be a Gary Stu. Because yes, there's a Mary Sue and a Gary Stu. And that is a weak plot device where people just write somebody as God mode that can do everything. And uh, yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's a very poor writing, very one-dimensional writing. Very, it, It's like we're living in an idiocracy. Star Wars, the new generation of Star Wars is just like living in idiocracy. The new generation of Star Trek, like we're living in an idiocracy. In idiocracy, there was that television show, Ow My Balls, where they just kicked people in the nuts the whole show and everybody was laughing. And, and this is literally what this is like. Ow My Balls, watching Star Wars, watching Star Trek. There's no logic or reason anymore. And they've purposely assassinated and killed and, and gone and attacked the character of our love characters, these icons, these cultural icons. Luke Skywalker is a cultural icon, and he's been purposely sullied. Han Solo being this uh, a deadbeat dad. Are you kidding me? And then all the women are the strong ones because, yes, they are attacking the men. So there's some... Other overt and undertones and stuff like that where it's an SJW's wet dream with this movie, Star Wars, The Last Jedi. But besides that, besides Rey being a Mary, a Mary Sue, there is a line that Kylo Ren says, let the past die, and if you must, kill it. Well, that, that's postmodernism because postmodernism's whole goal is to attack modernism. They say post, you know, modernism is a, pl a plague. We need to attack it. We need to kill it. We need to destroy it. We need to destroy all those values. We destroy reason. We destroy logic. We destroy cultural icons. Uh, let the past die, and if you must, kill it. That is postmodernism. That is like the biggest postmodern line in the movie. It, it's it's absolutely horrible, and it, it really frustrates me, and it, it upsets me. I stopped playing my video game as a result of it. I was a big Galaxy of Heroes player. And I, I had to just stop. I couldn't do it anymore. I had to break up from the Disney version of Star Wars because they are attacking our cultural icons. They are destroying them. And this, is, this isn't this is just a huge thing. Uh, this isn't just some isolated thing where I'm a big baby, where I'm a purist and I just want to see Star Wars and see Luke Skywalker in God mode or something like that. No. 
I can actually sense that something is wrong. Something, there was a betrayal. Even when you look at uh, Mark Hamill after he came out of the movie, he was not prepared for his character to die. He was not even told his character was going to die. He was excited and upbeat before the movie. And after the movie, he was stunned. If you just look at his face, he was stunned. And if Mark ever watches this video, I am so sorry, man. I love you. You have a, a, a wonderful heart. So does George Lucas. I love you guys. And, you know, I know what you put into this character. And I know what you guys have put into the Star Wars universe. And you deserved better. You deserved a hero's send-off. And that was not a hero's send-off. That was in no way the way that this Star Wars should have gone. And I am really upset that that happened. And it's not cool. But I am going to do whatever I have to do to fight this. And not necessarily fight postmodernism, but I will build something new. I am tired of this shit. I am tired of watching society just get completely torn down left and right by this socialist, communist propaganda, communitarian propaganda, postmodernist bullshit. And I am no longer going to stand for it. And I'm going to build something new. Like Socrates said, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Well, I'm not going to, to fight postmodernism. Postmodernism is doing its thing, and it is fighting the old. It is destroying the old. It is destroying Star Trek. It is destroying Star Wars. It is destroying our universities. It is destroying anything where there is a diversity of ideas, a diversity of, of uh, conversations and viewpoints. It is destroying logic. It is destroying reason. It is destroying science. It is destroying cultural icons and uh, mythologies. And I am here to build something new. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I will definitely, definitely be building something new. And I don't know what it's going to be yet. I don't know how it's going to look. But I am not going to tolerate the destruction of everything that I hold dear, including my own masculinity and uh, the masculinity of, of society in general. I'm just not going down like that. No way, Jose. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to stay up to date with our videos, please subscribe. If you would like to be notified via email whenever we release a video, please click the bell next to subscribe. If you have any comments or questions and would like to dialogue about this topic, please leave them below. If you're interested in becoming a patron and having special access to our community, please visit our Patreon page linked below. We're Nathan and Aline from the Divine Pollination Hive and the UnityProcess.com. Be safe. Be sovereign. Be well.